Hi guys, Miss Tammy here. I miss you guys so, so much. I can't wait till I can see you again. I know I get to see some of you on Sunday morning, some of you not yet, but hopefully I get to see you soon. I miss you so, so much. Um, we are going to talk, I know I didn't do a video last Wednesday and I did a very, very short video on Sunday, um, but I've got this video today and our theme for this Wednesday night and Sunday is God provides for us, okay? And our verse, I'll tell you the verse afterwards because it goes along with our story. So our story is about Elijah, okay? So we're in the Bible and we're talking about Elijah. We're going to read from our beginning reader Bible. So God told Elijah to go to a nearby town. There he would find a woman who would take care of him. When Elijah arrived, he saw a widow gathering sticks. He asked her for some water and bread. The woman said, my son and I only have enough flour and oil for one last meal. Elijah replied, don't be afraid. God will not let you go hungry. They only had enough food um, for one more meal and they didn't have any money or any way of getting more food. That's pretty sad. The woman poured him some water and made him some bread. So she trusted him and believed that God would provide for her. Because she took care of Elijah, God took care of her. The woman's flour and oil never ran out. She always had more than enough, didn't she? What stories from the Bible did that kind of remind you of? Where God provided food for people. There's lots of stories in the Bible where God provides for people. And especially food when they're hungry. So if you can think of a couple stories, tell your parents or whoever you're with watching this video. And then they can put it in the comments. They don't have to, but they can. So our memory verse this week is, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord sends rain to the land. First Kings seventeen fourteen. So we read out of the beginner reader Bible, but this Sunday we'll talk about the story um, and we'll read from our, um, our big Bible. And we'll read parts of the story and we're going to talk about how God used Elijah um, to tell people and help provide for people. And God provides for us, even when we don't see it. Sometimes, sometimes we only think about the things we want and not always think about the things we need. And God provides for our needs. Um, he can also provide for our wants as well. But he's our provider. And we just need to remember that not only is he our provider, but he gives us stuff to also give others. So, like, um, that woman... God blessed her because she gave, and that was really nice. And so we don't ever want to forget that God wants us to give and share with others. Um, giving doesn't always mean giving completely. It can mean sharing, too. So it's nice to share and to remember to practice sharing um, because that's important to know that, um, that let's say you share a book with somebody, like Miss Tammy loves her books. And if I shared a book with someone and, um, and I would, sometimes we would think, oh, I don't want to share that because I don't want someone to get it dirty, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's, I mean, it's not okay to just purposely, um, damage somebody else's stuff. But if somebody was to borrow a book and they accidentally got it dirty or something, it's okay, because God provided the ability for me to get that book in the first place. And I got to share it with somebody who was hopefully able to enjoy that book. And then they, um, you know, and then if I needed to get a different copy, I could. God would provide a way for me to get a different copy. So it's always important to share and not worry about what could happen if we share. All right, guys. I love you so, so much. I can't wait to see you again. You, um, should, I sent a pack, I sent your, um, mail out today, so you should get that soon. If you were at church on Sunday, you already got your paper, so you won't get anything else. But if you weren't at church on Sunday, I sent you your papers in the mail. And, um, this Sunday, I will have a packet for you at church. It will be about God providing. It will go along with our story. And if you have, um, if you're not at church, I'll send it to you in the mail next week, okay? All right, guys. I love you. Bye.